Yo everyone, this is Sonic. So, today we have the newest GE animation plus. Yeah, so this is the newest plus to come out. Came out in I think late September 2013. So, if you want to get it, it's in the description. Oh, uh, just one thing. It is quite expensive because of the newness, is that even a word? Um, how new it is. I got mine for £20 because I'm in the UK, you know. Um, I think it, I don't know how much £20 would be in dollars, so you might just have to check that out. But yeah, I got mine for £20. Okay, so what I'll be doing is reviewing the tag, pretty boring, the plush, obviously, and rating it and making some comparisons to uh, me and him. Yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so what's up first? The tag. Okay, so the tag, unlike the Sonic X G animation ones, they don't have the actual characters on. They just have just Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog on the back. The usual stuff. That just makes no sense. Anyway, it's uh, made out of this kind of really thin, smooth cardboard. So yeah, it's not that interesting. But anyway, why do you even want to look at the tag? So, uh, here is the full push. Just a quick overview. Uh, and he is a bit bigger than me, but that's because on the old ones, you can see that if you looked at him, that doesn't really look too much like Sonic. Well, yeah, it does look completely like Sonic, but the head is it's a little bit too big, and his legs are too short, but not look by that much. In the silver, they got just right. The head isn't as big, and the legs are longer, so everything in proportion is equal so it looks more like the character still I'm an awesome plush okay so uh, I'll go from head to body to legs yes this is my technique so I invented it if you want to see proof then you can go to Sonic Channel 111 and look at my reviews so yeah Okay, the head. I don't know where to really start, really. So cool. Okay, let's just start with the head shape. Okay, the head shape looks exactly like silver. All the spikes are in line. They're all turning upwards a bit at the top. And even as little ears behind them here. Uh, he does have this like OG animation pushes so he can just hang him up but no I'm not gonna cut that off uh, these spikes are really well made they're really long and they actually look like Silver's back spikes so yeah the spikes are really well made very well stitched and uh, stuffed really really well not too hard and not too soft so yeah um, now onto the face the, his eyes unlike the Sonic X one they're not this material instead they're just the material of his fur so I think I like that better so it gives him a more natural look. Um, the eyes are ironed on. 
And uh, the mouth is ironed on as well. Um, so he has his, I don't know what these are, eyelashes. Uh, his muzzle is really well made as well. I'm going to be saying that a lot in this plus. Um, his nose is, I think, just a little bit too long. But I really like it. So, uh, I think that's just the head. So, uh, onto the body. Okay, the arms. Just a quick overview of the arms. Uh, yeah. So the arms are perfect. I couldn't. No one could do better. I just think that these are just perfect arms. Really well stuffed. Not too hard. Not too soft. Now the gloves are the same material as the Sonic X is eyes and silver's boots. This kind of polyester plastic feel to it, but it's still really soft. It's stuffed well. Um, the fingers on there. His false things, I don't know what they're called. They're stitched in with the actual hand, so that must have taken a really long time and a lot of effort. Um, now, as you might be able to tell, that this arm is higher than the other one. This is because, if you're lying down, it's like that. And if you try and balance it right, it looks like he's forcing something. Or just a uh, ordering some fries so uh, yeah those were the arms really 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 good uh, okay now on to the actual body focus yes um, the body is well stuffed his spikes are really nice really looks like silver in this plush. This is almost an exact replica of silver, I think. Um, the one thing, probably the only thing in this plush that's not that good is his fur. It's kind of just a felt, a piece of felt wrapped around to the back, but they're taking the time to make that, so that's good. Um, and also it's not stitched on, so you can just move it freely about, but it's really stiff, so yeah, that's not much of a problem. Still makes him look epic. Okay, onto his tag. Uh, I think the tag is just a little bit too big, and I think it could be maybe around here, instead of right in the front. Because when I'm doing videos, it might just get in the way. Okay, now onto the legs. Okay, yeah, let's start with the tail. Yeah, it's just the standard G animation tail. Now the legs. Ugh. The legs are probably one of the best things about this plush. Okay, so the legs are as good as anything else. Really well stuffed. Um, <coughs> the same, the boots and this and the underneath there, but not these, they are all the same material as this, kind of plasticky, which I think it makes it really realistic, so it's not, he's not got soft shoes, boots, rather. Okay, so this standard thing goes all the way around, like I'm here. Now the boot, this is probably the greatest boot I've ever seen. Um, okay, so it's really hard, or it's harder than any, anything else. 
it's harder than anything else, so it's really realistic for her boots. Yeah. Yeah. And they got the colours perfect. I really like that bit. It's, a, it's not a flap like the Kelly toy silver, which was a kind of disgrace. Yeah. Now underneath, um, we got uh, this, these. And they're ironed on, they're shiny, so that makes them much better. Yeah, same with the leg. Uh, and as I said, they are longer than any other G animation at once by about. Yeah. yeah. But he's still really really amazing and his legs make him look even more like silver they're not too long not too short they're just perfect so yeah that was the legs oh yeah by the way if my voice sounds a little bit croaky uh, I've got a really bad sore throat so sorry for that yeah. anyway on to the rating and comparisons Okay, so on to the body. I'd rate this a 9 out of 10. Uh, half because of this, it's not that good. It kind of makes it look cheap, but it's definitely not. It's still a really, really soft material that you can just... It's so nice. Um, and the tag, which is a bit too big. Uh, and it is. But I suppose they do have to put their name and Sega and everything on it. Okay, on to the legs. I'll give these a 10 out of 10. Perfect. I can't... I don't know how they managed to make this this way. It's just... Comparison time. Okay. So let's go with the head. The head from the bottom of the muzzle is not as big as mine. Yeah, I'm a big head. But I think that's completely fine because I do think the Sonic X plushes are a bit too. the heads are a bit too big and thick. But this one is just perfect. And my just wrist just cracked. Okay, um, the muzzle itself. Sonic's has always been lighter and so it's always been darker and they got the colours perfect. Um, Sonic's muscle is a lot bigger as you can see than Silver's. So uh, yeah, and I don't really like giant muscles. So yeah, you got really nice face and my wrist crack just to get. The uh, next comparison is that the eyes, this, the eyes aren't the same material as the hands the same material as this, which I think is much better. Um, also, the nose on the Sonic X's is the same material as the eyes and gloves. The nose on this is felt, which I like better. And it's not as... this is much softer than this one. Okay, so, the arms are... Uh, how am I going to do this? The arms are longer on Silver's, which I think is a bit more realistic, and they're not as thick and chubby. But both of the hands and arms are just perfect. Um, and the legs are the biggest difference. Look at the leg size. Oh yeah, and the feet size. So, uh, I think that might just be it, uh, tail size about the same time, time, same size. Um, so, uh, yes, now on to the final rating. So, what would I rate this plus altogether? A nine and a half out of ten. Yes, it's almost perfect. The only thing this is the tag and this. And 
yeah, that is it. So, yes, I would definitely recommend this bus. So, if you want to buy him, uh, he is going to be quite expensive, focus, because, yeah, he's only just come out, uh, I think, set, like I said, early September 13, 2013. So, yes, uh, he is uh, very new to the plush world. Um, and I would definitely recommend him. I would just, if I could, I would buy everyone in the world one. Because they are just so amazing. Okay, so, uh, you, the link to buying them is, I think, yeah, from America, is from in the description. I can't find any from the UK, so, sorry, fellow Britons. Okay, so, uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. I will be using him in my videos a lot. He'll be in most videos. So, uh, by the way, I now have a DeviantArt, so the link is in the description as well. So, thank you for watching, and, as always, don't forget the apples. Goodbye. Uh, so, Silver, we have gone through all the forms and the papers, and uh, thanks for coming in today, by the way. And you are just joined the World of Plushies Plush family. So, how do you feel? Well, this is just amazing. Happy to be here. <coughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, thanks. Oh, by the way, do you have any milkshakes here? Uh, yeah, what do you ask? I must go. My milkshakes need me. Ugh. Better put milkshakes on the list, then.